the demons that you're trying to work with are not meant for you. So you might be wondering, what do you mean, Morpheus? What do you mean? The demons you're trying to communicate with are not meant for you. And that is the ugly truth about magic sometimes. Sometimes destiny needs to happen. Sometimes it needs to take place. So I'm going to be explaining why you cannot summon up such an entity despite doing everything right. And sometimes why you are unable to communicate with them despite following every single idea that has been given by every single guru on the internet. So, hello guys, my name is Morpheus Rakson. I am a witch based in India. I have experience in the Clifford. I have experience in the Sephiroth. I have experiences with the Tarot as well as the runes. And I am official 21. So, I'm going to be explaining the history and the secrets that I've gained. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you why you should not work with certain demons and entities. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, what do you mean by certain entities you should not work with, certain demons you should not work with? So on the internet, I have seen people glorify certain entities and they have desire to work with them. Lucifer, Lucifuge, Azazel, Belial, Asmodeus. These are the entities and King Paimon actually, King Paimon. All of them are very much famous entities, famous in a way that people want to work with them, summon them and communicate with them. But the fact is, sometimes you don't need to do that. Sometimes your destiny does not want you to work with them. Sometimes you need to uh, do certain other things. And what do I mean by that? I have seen that there are certain people who have ideas to summon an entity that they're not uh, supposed to work with much. It's not that these entities will not help you, but the fact is that they are not best suited for you. That can change. That can change and in the future you might have a different entity who desires to work with you. Or the same entity comes back and because it's your time, now you should work with them. But not always, you know. Uh, for me, it's like an entity who I want to work with does not want to work with me because I need someone else and they cannot give me what I want or what I need. So you will see that the idea of La Santisma Miute is very much famous on YouTube, various occultists who work with her. But when I tried working with her, I got this message. You should not work with me. You should work with the Morrigan. And that is something that I need to follow because they know what you want. They know you better than you do yourself right now. They know your higher self and your higher self can communicate with them. So what they want you to do is develop yourself. And for now, you need to work with certain entities who are not supposed to be uh, useful or easy. Hell, sometimes I've seen people uh, invoke Sephirons, the spider queen, despite being a thinner, because that's their purpose. That's a path. So everybody's path is different. Do not ever forget that you have your own gifts that other people do not. Because of those gifts, you are able to do something differently than other people are. And what do you mean by that? I mean, you might have ability to see entities. You might have ability to uh, sense them. You might have ability to hear them. And it is better than other people. That does not mean that you are not able to gain those other abilities. But that means that you are much more easier in using them. For me, I cannot sense entities uh, most of the time. But I can see and hear them pretty well. But some, for some other people, that might be completely opposite. So you need to understand your skills, you need to understand your gifts, and then you need to perform an entity or work with them. Belial came with me two to three times before I ever started working with him because he needed to work with me because he wanted me to work with him because I had purpose to do and I refused that because I did not have the understanding that my path is different. I believe that such an entity who is so scary, a demon of wrath, will destroy me. But in fact, it has some opposite. It has freed me from my shackles. So you need to understand that it is not your time yet. Communicate with the entity. Ask your higher self. Do a tarot reading. Do a pendulum. Do a rune. And understand what you need to do. Understand how you need to do. And understand what should you do now. So 
that is it for this video. I'm doing short videos now. I'm trying to do something different. Post more videos and shorten them out. That is something I'm trying. I have got a new setup, if you can see. So I'm trying my best right now. So I will see you guys in my next video. So if you want to gain more information, if you want to work with me, you can connect to me with my email. And if you want to hire me, you can hire me on there. I do customized rituals now. And if you want to learn from me, there are videos that are coming out on my Patreon and it starts from $5 a month. So if you want to support me, want me to work with you or want to communicate with me, then you can do me on my Patreon. So I will see you guys later. So goodbye, have a great day and take care.